Good morning. Today is Friday, October 24th. Beautiful sunny day, and we're supposed to have several sunny days ahead of us, so that's good news. Um, th on this day in history, in 1901, was the first barrel ride down Niagara Falls. It was done by a 63-year-old female school teacher, and she did that in a pickle barrel. It took 20 minutes to do that. It seemed like a long time to me. Uh, 20 seconds would be a long time doing that to me, but um, and that is actually illegal to do. So if you have any ideas, you might change your mind. In 2003, the Concorde uh, supersonic jet made its final flight from New York's JFK Airport to London's Heathrow Airport. Um, it traveled at twice the speed of sound. Uh, birthdays today, we don't have any today or over the weekend, but yesterday was Sharon Wiggins' birthday and Ken Sedlecki's birthday. Sharon, of course, is one of our telephone operators and Ken manages our car wash and soon to be the manager of our new upcoming Brunswick car wash as well. And we don't have any anniversaries. Just a couple things I wanted to touch on quickly. Um, Complete. I think by now all of you have gone into Complete. If you're having any issues or you're having trouble getting signed in, see me or call me. I'm at 182 and I'll help you through that. But I have to say I really want to compliment everybody because I think we've done a really good job and everybody's been pretty aggressive about trying to make sure that they're they're all green and they have no red and they're and they're up to date on everything they're doing. So great job on that. Um, once again, wouldn't be my word of the day without talking about the preventive care campaign. But we do have only until the end of November to get our forms printed, our checkups done, and the results into Incentisoft. So if you don't have your appointment scheduled, really seriously, you need to do that today because they're getting very backed up and booked up and it's going to be difficult to get it done in time. We do have to have everybody do that. I think there are 90 some, 102 people, I think, on our list that have to do it. Right now we're only at I'm according to my last list, which was last Friday, only at like 17 people. Now I know a lot of you have them scheduled and some of you have them done and complete. I just don't have those results yet, but if you're not there, please get on that. Um, Sarah Fieser is going to be here Monday. Hopefully you've seen the sign-up sheets. She's of course our wellness coach. If you're not signed up, get signed up because there are limited spots and we do have to have four visits with her between now and the end of February. And We've only got five of her uh, dates scheduled ahead that we have left you know of her visit with us so um, if you're not signed up please get signed up and as you remember from Chuck's word of the day the other day he has put out a challenge to us if you go to Sarah with a personal goal you know that you want to accomplish between now and six months from now he will give you you and she will decide whether or not that goal is reasonable attainable and aggressive and she he will give you $250 at the end of six months if you've attained that goal and she's going to help us out by keeping track of that and visiting with you every month when she's here so please take him up on that. It'll, it'll make us a much more healthy population. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for attending the clam bake yesterday and most specifically thank Chuck for having it and for doing that for all of us and thank Andrew for his very hard work in doing all of that cooking. Um, it was a great day. The weather was wonderful. The food was delicious and, and that was really a great day. So thanks to everybody for coming together, for dressing up, for participating and just getting together as a team. It was really a lot of fun. Um, I want to also remind you that pretty soon we're going to have to convert over to the 2.0 version of Dealer Track. It's loaded and it's out there, but I think most, most of you are still going on to Dealer Track through the icon on your desktop. If you log into DealerTrack.com, you'll see in the upper right hand corner of your screen there's a, a, a place where you can click on DMS. If you go in the DMS side, that's going to be all the same information we have on our DMS now, but it's going to look very different. There are some enhancements to it, but my concern at this point, we loaded it a couple of months ago, I don't really know that anybody's using 2.0, and the problem we're going to run into is that once they have 2.0 loaded on all of their systems throughout the country, they're going to discontinue the desktop version of, of dealer track. So I just hate to find us in a situation where all of a sudden without any, any prior knowledge or much prior knowledge, we're going to find ourselves having to go on the 2.0 version and we're not familiar with it. They say they're going to try to have that done by the end of the year, so I sure would hate for us to have to start to close a month and close a year on a new version of dealer track that we're not familiar with. So just toggle back and forth even if you don't use it all the time, but try to familiarize yourself with 2.0. Um, it's really pretty slick and there are some different, different screenshots and things that I think will make it more user friendly. So that's about all I have today. I wanted to close by just reading you something that was sent to me by a former co-worker of mine that I thought was a meaningful, a meaningful quote. It's uh, by Margaret Mead, who was an anthropo American anthropologist. It says, never believe that a few caring people can't change the world, for indeed, that's all who ever have. So don't ever think every single person doesn't make a difference. That's all I have today. Have a great weekend, everybody, and be safe. Thanks.